Hey folks, how's it going? Fucking, I <laughs> got nothing better to do. This guy, this is hilarious. He uh, has his uh, fucking like Twitter. He uh, is like the people of New York. I have my story to tell, and it'll be told next week. He's gonna tell you the truth. He's, he's gonna tell you his story next week. This is a guy that said, I think he said he went to Harvard, of course, because, you know, you just shoot for the stars if you're just going to go all out. And I left a fucking, I tweeted at him. I was like, I admire you, dude. He does, he has what it has. He does what it, he has what it takes to win. And that's what matters. In New York, you do what you got to do. You dump your wife, you fucking, dude, it's probably going to come out, dude, had a family. <laughs> with this woman he just left his family became gay and uh yeah he put us over the top and there's no way McCarthy is gonna okay like kicking this dude out of fucking <laughs> the house no way in hell that's gonna happen they have such a thin majority so this this guy he just uh he's like yeah I used to work at Goldman Sachs you know, I've been gay for over a decade, and I'm the, a gay Republican. Oh, also, my family is Jewish, and, um, you know, not only did they escape the Soviet Union and Ukraine, I'm Ukrainian Jew, and uh, not only did I escape the Soviet Union and Stalin, I ran into Belgium, and then I had to escape the Nazis, and then I went to Brazil, and then we had to change our name to fucking... <laughs> he had to change his name to uh, Santos to get out of uh, Nazi Germany or Belgium. And, like, he, uh, that's how his family escaped to Brazil. And they just kept the name Santos anyway instead of, like, Goldstein or I don't even fucking know. Whatever the Jewish name they would have had. And, but it turns out all this is full of shit. Full of shit. He didn't go to Harvard. He didn't fucking work at Goldman Sachs. He, like, family did not escape Stalin and Hitler and run to Brazil and the dude didn't even gay but this is hilarious yep he's gonna tell his story will come out next week <laughs> it's such it's so ridiculous and uh I don't know nothing better to talk about so let's continue to talk about this dude what does CNN have to say really who gives a shit what CNN has to say but Let's see what they have to say. Always nice to like see the world through the enemy's eyes, right? He'll address apparent misrepresentations about his past. His Republican House leadership remains silent. Yeah, they ain't gonna do nothing, man. He did it. This is what I'm talking about. In my last video, this is how you do it. You're in New York. You're uh, you're thinking about running as a Republican. Yeah, this is how you do it, dude. And no one gives a shit. Biden. I mean, look at the big guy himself. He's in the fucking White House right now. And you know how he got in the White House? Did you know that in like 1988, the campaign there, he, he, he was disgraced. He like completely plagiarized his life story from a British fucking, a British politician. Like just took his speech and just like kind of substituted here and there, same speech and then complete disgrace. But look at him now. The dude has dementia. The man sat in the motherfucking basement. He sat in the basement during the entire 2020 election. Didn't say nothing. And just, he won. He came out on top. So, Republicans, this guy is learning from the left. Learning from the Democrats. He's like, he'll just lie about his entire family. I mean, the man is like a gay, Latino, Jewish man. <laughs> immigrant <laughs> it's all bullshit but that's what you gotta do he dumped his wife 12 days before he started his political campaign in 2020 apparently he lost whatever seat he was running for but he won this one and it comes out he, he's not even gay he, he said I've been gay for over a decade it's like oh really because in 2019 you had a divorce it's just it's just funny man this guy, and he's like, I'm going to take a week. I'm going to take a whole fucking week to come out and, and, and explain the truth. <laughs> like, 
the internet uh, is rightfully. But me, I'm just like, this is what it takes to win as a Republican in New York. Republicans, you want to win in New York, you take notes. You just come out and tell everyone you suck so much dick, it's ridiculous. You dump your wife. Tell your wife, you got to be LGBTQ to win in this state, sweetie. I, I'm sorry. You know, I got I to gotta start, you know, taking up the ass, sucking some dick. And uh, that's how you win in this state. And it is. This man won. And people, they don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> they don't pay any attention who they vote for. You get out of that primary, you got a real shot. And if that's what it takes... I think uh, this might be a, a map, like a model for a, you know, <laughs> a path to victory for Republicans in New York. Yeah. I mean, this dude is in there. There's no way in hell McCarthy's going to uh, agree to, like, kick him out. There's such a thin major Like, this dude made it. He did it. This is a straight sociopath that got into Congress and, uh... Hats off to you, sir. This is how re if this is how Republicans have to win in New York, then this is how Republicans have to win in New York. Well played, sir. This dude is a hero. Like there should be folk songs about this. Like seriously, he ran around with outlandish stories and outlandish bullshit. Like I oh, was at Goldman Sachs and went to Harvard and fucking my family escaped Stalin. And then we were like, oh shit, we had to change our name to Santos to escape Hitler, and that's why our name is still, like, no. This is brilliant. This man is a legend. Everyone is shitting on him. This is, this is a, a strategy. You know, the left, they don't care, dude. They're, pff, they don't give a fuck about the truth. Joe Biden completely plagiarized someone else's life story, and, um, Look at him today. He's in the fucking White House. The man doesn't even know he's in the White House. And he's in the White House. So, I mean, yeah. Well played. I am on team George Santos. Look at this dude. I'm a fan. And with that, like, I couldn't find any better stories. I, I, every Like, all the stories is about the weather. And, you know, again, everyone, man. I'm in Texas. Like, it's cold, but it, I, I, I can see what's happening elsewhere. Everyone remains safe, man. I hope everyone's prepared. I hope everyone, uh, you know, stays warm. And uh, I really mean that. Like, I'm going to be praying for everybody. And, um, anyway, I, <laughs> I just thought I'd make another video. And this, this guy, dude, <laughs> this, some scandals are funny. Remember the Anthony Weiner scandal and how he like came in at the last second with his like dick pics, which opened up the investigation back into the Hillary Clinton shit because his wife's anyway, it was like, this shit is just like a funny scandal and I don't care, man, whatever it takes. Republicans take notes in California and New York. It seems to be a thing in New York. Yeah. Whatever it takes. You start sucking dick you you take take it up the ass whatever you got to do dump your family watch it it'll come out this dude has like kids with this fa he just left his family 12 days before he launched his political career but uh he's a republican he got elected you do what you got to do yeah fucking new york politics is dirty hats off to uh this legendary like this is a, the, the legend of George Santos. Well played, sir. The Jewish Goldman Sachs Latino gay man that, you know, divorced his wife 12 years before, 12 days before he kicked off his political campaign. Yeah. Well done. And I mean, like, that was 2020. I guess he didn't get into office that time, but he got into office this time. So, yeah. He ain't going nowhere, dude. McCarthy isn't going to kick him out. There's no way in hell that's going to happen. So he's set. He won. This is what you got to do. This is what this is what winning looks like in New York. So well done. Well played, sir. Uh, I hope everyone has a, a safe and a Merry Christmas. Thank you. Good night.